Hi guys, in this video I will show you how Arduino and processing can communicate each other. In this case I will show you how you can send messages from Arduino to processing. In another video we will see the opposite, send a message from processing to Arduino. The collaboration between these two instruments, Arduino and processing, could be very interesting, in particular in the field of interactive arts. For example, your games, your animation, your interactive content, or your generative hard work made with processing can interact with an action taken by an external agent, the artist or the viewer, on a sensor connected to Arduino. You can have multiple sensors connected to Arduino. Arduino can read the values of this sensor and send messages according to the values to processing. And your software, your software written in processing can elaborate these messages and make some action on the screen. For example, change color, shape, size, or activate multimedia contents, and so on. The combination, the possibility are endless. Just play with your fantasy. Okay, in this case, I'm all interested in showing you how Arduino and processing can communicate. So I will use a very simple example that is not very artistic. I have a button connected on a digital pin of Arduino, and when I push the button, a message will be sent through the serial to the software written in processing that runs on my PC. The software gets, gets uh, the message and shows it on a little window. Okay, let's, try, let's start from Arduino code. I won't tell you how to connect a button on, on Arduino or how to read the state of a digital pin. I suppose that you already know it. If not, I suggest you to follow our course uh, Arduino starting from zero. Okay, first of all, I define uh, two variables. The first one is the digital pin where I have connected the button. The second one is uh, the variable that I will use as a counter of the send messages. In this top is necessary to initialize the serial in this way. Serial.begin and then the boot rate for the serial communication. Then there are some settings for my button. In the loop function, I read the state of the digital pin and uh, when the button is pressed, I send the message. What is the structure of the message that I have chosen? Serial dot print message, serial dot print comma, serial print cnt deck, deck is to indicate that is decimal number, and serial print lhn. Why I have written the message in this way? Because I want to tell you two important things. The first one is that if you want to send more than one information in the same message, you have to separate in some way the information so that processing can understand when it starts and ends an information and when it starts and ends the subsequent information. To do this, you can choose charter as a separator charter that will be used to separate the information in a message. In this case, you have chosen the comma charter to separate the, uh, the comma charter to separate the static string message and the value of my, count, of my counter, the variable cnt. I use the command in this case so that processing software know that when it will find a comma, there is a new information to elaborate. Okay, this was the first important thing that I want to say to you. The second important thing is about the serial print hand that I have had at the end of the message. I have a the line feed at the end of the message because it's important that you use a charter that indicates the end of the message. I use line feed, but you can use any other charter. In this way, processing can distinguish two consecutive messages. Processing found this, char this charter. Okay, the message finishes, and whatever comes after, this will be a new message. Okay, okay, then I call the function, the function delay, but we'll see later why it is necessary. Okay, now let's see proce processing codes. First of all, you have to import the library for serial communication in this way. Okay, then I define a variable uh, which is an object of the class of serial, my part. 
Then I have a string variable, serial, initialized to null. This variable will contain the content of the message received on the serial. Then there is the variable int and equal to 10. What is this? I have said before that it is necessary to choose a character to say that the message is end. In the Arduino code, I have used the line feed, and in ASCII, the value 10 is the line feed. Then I have defined another string, another string variable, message, that will be the message printed on the screen by the software. Okay. In the setup, in the setup function, I initialize the size of the screen, but but most important, I initialize the object, my port of the class serial, with is constructor. This is the part, this is the parent of the object. Then serial dot list zero. What is this? The function list of the class serial returns the number of the serial port available on your PC. In my case, I have only one Arduino connected to the PC, so I have only one COM. So this function will return only one element, and I have to get this using the index zero. The last element here is the baud rate of the serial, and it has to be the same baud rate that you have chosen in your Arduino code. Okay. Now, what I do in the draw draw function? Uh, while my port available is greater than zero, it means as long as uh, I have available data on the serial, read the data available on the serial. In fact, the function available is a function that returns a number greater than zero when there are some bytes available on the serial port. So if I have bytes available, I will read it, re read them. In this case, I have decided to use the function read string until. There are also other functions for reading the data on the serial, but we will see them later on the help of processing. Read the string until read reads the string on the serial until it finds a charter. What charter? The charter that we give an input of the function. And, in this case, the variable and that represents the charter line feeds. Now, the value of the string variable serial is the message received on the serial port. When there are no more data available on the port, we exit from the while. Now serial will be different from null, so we'll enter in this part of code. There you can see how I have used the separator charter comma that I have used to put together the information in one message in the Arduino code. I use the function split. It, wa it wants an input the string to split and the charter that it will use a splitter, the comma. So it will split the message depending on the comma charter. In this way, I will get uh, an array of strings, and in my case, it will be an array of two elements. The elements uh, message and information CNT, my counter. Okay? So the array will have two elements, and I will set uh, Sorry, here. So uh, the array will have two elements, and I will set the variable message, that is the text that will be put on screen, equal to a of zero, that is the string message, plus space, plus a, a of one, that is the value of CNT. At the end, I put serial equal to null again. Okay, now let's see the code working. I have already loaded the code on Arduino. I push play to start the software there. 
Okay, there you can see the string waiting. That is the initial value of the variable message, that is the variable that I use to print on screen. Waiting. Okay, I'm not pushing the button, so no data are available on the serial. So I won't enter in the while. In fact, as you can see, the statements uh, printed data available that I have written for the bug is not executed. Uh, serial will uh, be equal to null, so we won't enter in this part of code. Okay. The only thing I'm now doing is printing the message on the window, the message waiting. Okay. Okay, now if I press the button once, message one is printed, the message is arrived. If I press again the button, message two, message three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and so on. Well, this is one of several ways to read messages on the serial with processing. I want to introduce you another way that uses the function uh, the event uh, serial event. So I uncomment these parts and I comment this part and uncomment this line. Okay, what is serial event? Serial event is an event. Exactly as a function which is executed when a particular event occurs. In this case, when there are some data available on the serial ports. So when there are some data on the serial, the event, so this function that is connected to the event, they will be executed. Why I have had this line, my port buffer until end. With this line, I'm telling to the serial to not trigger these events each time a byte is received on the port, but only after it has received the character end. End is our line feed, the character that identifies the end of our messages. Okay, so the previous bytes will be put in a buffer and only after uh, the chart and he is received, the event will be triggered and, uh, we, and then uh, we can elaborate the entire message. If I comment this line and then I push the button, okay, there. you can see that uh, the string event has been printed multiple times but i am not interested in trigger this event so often but only at the end of uh, the message so uh, if now i uncomment the line and run the code and play and push again my button Okay, as you can see, the event has been triggered only once and I have reset and elaborate correctly the message. Okay, this is another way to read data on serial. In this case, I use a, a serial event. In a previous example, I have used the function uh, available uh, to verify, where is the function available to verify if uh, I have data on serial. Okay, if you go to the processing website, in the section that describes the serial library, you will find all the available methods for this class. For example, uh, we use read string until, we use buffer until, we, we use the uh, list. I won't go in details with, your, with other methods. You can read the details about them um, on the help by clicking on it. Okay? Okay, another thing that I want to tell you is about the delay that I have put in the Arduino code after the sending of the message. This delay is important because, as you know, the function loop is executed repeatedly. So, by the time I pressed and released my button, actually the function was executed more than once. So, this part of code this part of code will be executed more than once for one click. 
so multiples multiple messages for just one click comment so comment this line and reload the code first we have to stop uh, the uh, processing software okay reload the code then go back to the processing code and restore the initial code for practice so uh, comment this and comment this and comment to this line okay okay now round round the code and now press the button once as you can see on the screen we have message 130 this means first of all that Arduino has executed this part of code 130 times and there and there you can see that the string dot available a lot of is printed a lot of time and only at the end we have this, uh, this string serial different from null that is printed inside the if. Why did is? Because Arduino has sent a lot of messages continuously, and so uh, we were as uh, uh, we were trapped in this part of code because there were always data available on the serial. Only at the end, when Arduino has sent the last message, we exit the while and we elaborate and print the message. Okay? So, this is why we have to use the delay function after we send the messages in this case. Okay? Okay, I hope I was clear enough to explain you how to send messages from Arduino to processing. Soon I will explain you in another video how to send messages from processing to Arduino. Bye!